What is going on guys, Nifty Bacon here, and as you can see, Car Mechanic Simulator has a new update. It's a very large update, about the size of the game itself, at 7.13 gigabytes. So there should be quite a bit of content that we can check out, which we'll do right now. We've got the game all loaded up, and uh, we're going to see what is in the new update. Uh, what I noticed when I loaded in, it seems a little bit smoother. It seemed to be like glitching and kind of like freezing up a little bit here and there and stuff like that. It seems to be doing it a little less. That might be part of the update that they've added. Uh, I did check the parking and we still cannot get into parking or even look at our cars. So. I was kind of hoping that this was going to be an update for that. So maybe it's just uh, fixing uh, glitches and things and stuff like that, which we need to actually see if it's still, if you can still do the uh, money glitch. So we'll have to check on that here pretty soon. So everything still looks pretty much the same that we had before. Uh, there aren't any new cars that I saw in the showroom, but... I have not gone to the junkyard, so let's go to the junkyard just see if maybe we come across a new car or something. Alright guys, we are in the junkyard. Let's see if maybe there is possibly some new cars. I didn't see any in the showroom type of thing at the beginning of the menu screen, so I don't think there's going to be any new cars. But I don't know if they would update that list at all if there are new cars or they just kind of show up in here. Ooh, we got a Mazda RX-7 here. Yeah. Sweet. We needed that for uh, like a rebuild and everything like that. We'll just pick it up while we're here. Send it to parking. Alright, seems like a little bit more detail, maybe a little bit uh, smoother frame rate. It seems like as all what the d update was, because uh, I'm not seeing any new cars or nothing. Huh, it's the uh, flat end of the Daytona. I think this actually has the 6P motor in it. And yeah, there it is. So that's like the the upgraded version of the Tempest Magnum. We'll just pick this one up too because we'll eventually get the uh, paint shop opened. We only got a couple more levels to go. So we'll get this as well. Throw it into parking. Because I'm fine with having two of those. Yeah, yeah, it seems a little smoother in the, uh, definitely seems smoother, especially here in the junkyard and everything. So, uh, that's right. I should be grabbing some parts and stuff. Uh, trying to keep this video short, not too long because there's not really anything in the update. It doesn't seem like, it just seems like the frame rate and, uh, it's a little smoother seems like to me but let me know in the comments if you guys are noticing that or maybe it's just all in my head because <laughs> i didn't i was trying to look it up i didn't see like anything on like a forum or anything like that that uh would say what would be in the update or anything that i'd seen yet so doesn't look like anything more than just a smoother frame rate a little easier loading maybe uh, seem to take about the same amount of time to get into the junkyard. And then maybe the graphics are a little, little nicer, smoother. That might be all that they did to it. Which would kind of make sense because it's only been out for like a week. I wouldn't think they would drop any DLCs yet. Um, just trying to make sure I got everything here out of the junkyard. Probably fix that stuff. Yeah, so it'll just be a little quick trip to the junkyard, I guess. I don't really 
have too much going on in the update, but I will definitely let you guys know if there's an update and there's new cars or anything like that, or I find that out or anything, or I hear about it. Uh, so that's probably good for the trip for the... Well, actually, you know what? I think we have room. We need to get a GTO because we didn't have one of those. Which version is this? I don't think it's a supercharged, but we'll just get it anyway. We need some more projects anyhow. We'll just buy all the cars in the junkyard. How about that? Alright, so we will head back to the shop. $92. Alright guys, back in the shop. And uh, we're pretty full in the garage now. So I uh, shouldn't buy any more cars for a while. <laughs> Till we get them fixed up and sold. Um, been working on some jobs and leveling up a little bit more. As you can see we're at level uh, 24. Got a new story job here and everything. This one looks pretty messed up. So uh, looks like there's going to be a lot of work to do on this. Level up pretty quick with that job. Maybe I'll do it in the next episode. I don't know. Or we can do the Corvette. I don't know. We'll decide on that. Uh, but let me check and see if this... Uh, Money glitch still works. Uh, let's see. So, oops, wrong thing. I need to go in this thing. We'll buy one of these. I'm just going to test it out real quick. Alright, guys. So, it looks like uh, still works. And uh, let's just check our inventory, see if it's in there. Oh, look at that. What the heck? Yep. It looks like they patched the uh, the money glitch for the gearboxes. So you can no longer do that. Because it gave us the money back that we had uh, before we bought the gearbox. But the gearbox is no longer showing in the inventory. So they did a patch on the money glitch it looks like. So... Sorry guys, if you missed out on it, it's uh, too late because the update has patched the money glitch on the gearboxes as far as I know. I don't know about the other glitches or like car selling glitches and stuff like where you actually, uh, you know, you go to sell car or finish car or whatever. Um, well, actually it's not the finish car, but it's when you sell a car and you hold the button down. And then it gives you a glitch, so that might be patched too, I don't know. I don't feel like selling a car because we need projects, and uh, so I don't want to test that out. But definitely the glitch, money glitch for the gearbox seems to be uh, patched. So you can't use that anymore if you guys missed out. Sorry, sucks. But if you guys liked the video, definitely leave a like, definitely subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell, get notified when my videos are going up every day at midnight. And other videos like updates and stuff and glitches that I find, I will be uploading at random times. So see you guys in the next video.